Now is the time to configure auto start for VCSA or any virtual machine that you would like in your production environment. First of all, let's check out our ESXi. So to configure auto start on ESXi, we have to tell the host that it would be okay to do so. And again, to tell the VM that it should do so. So first of all, here on host manage, and here we'll say configure, and we'll say edit setting, we'll say yes. And here we'll say 10 second and shutdown or power off, which one that you want. That means if accidentally your ESXi lost the power and is hosting your vCenter server, whenever your ESXi power on back again to the network, after 10 seconds, it's going to start your vCenter server, which is great option that you don't need actually connect to ESXi and power on manually your virtual machine. And again, we'll right click and we'll say, enable auto start. That's great. But for vCenter server, we'll click on ES6i that we want to enable auto start on that VM. So we'll go to configure and here we'll scroll down to VM startup and shut down and we'll say edit. Here, as you can see, the configuration that we defined on ES6i. That means when you apply the changes here to the ESXi, you can see it on your vCenter server. And here we can move down the virtual machine or you can move up the virtual machine to the automatic order. Or here again, we can actually set this virtual machine to the automatic order, which one that you want. So again, here we'll say move down both of them now on uh, automatic and here we'll say this virtual machine to manual this is how you can enable auto start for your virtual machine in your production environment